Hey Libra, how's it going? Thank you so much for checking out my channel here or Flex of Moon Tarot. My name is Sarah and we are doing your reading for the new moon happening in Aries. Also, it is a solar eclipse, so kind of a big deal. I believe the path of totality is in going across the northern United States and south of Canada. So if you're able to observe, check it out. So usually with new moons, it's a period of renewal. New moon, hence the word, right? And I imagine it's probably similar with an eclipse on that level, with the light being blocked out for it to have a little reset us to have a little reset. The sun's burning still the whole time. <laughs> so, yeah. Lots of renewal energy. And for your reading, we're going to first start off with uh, drawing an oracle card to sort of set the tone. And wow, this is, this one keeps coming through here, the leaves. Pretty sure Aries got this one. But adaptability. So maybe with this um, Aries new moon, it really is about just being able to transform yourself in whatever way allows you to be more effective and efficient. Sorry. Let's see what the tarot has to say, what you're concerned with, what's, uh, what's the deal for Libra for the new moon in Aries. And the first quarter might be a significant period of time for you, which is the first week after the new moon. Ooh, we have the Five of Swords. So someone might be taking from you. Um, you or, I feel like this could be someone stealing from you on some level. Robbing you of, of some type of um, opportunity. This could be actual things being taken from you. And hopefully it's not you as the culprit, but just be mindful of the ways in which people uh, act like they are your friends or they're all about your well-being. And in actuality, they're just looking for a reason to take from you on some level, whether it be your energy, whether it be your actual belongings. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords crossed with the Nine of Pentacles. And it sounds like someone's trying to interfere with your independence on some level. Um, trying to interrupt um, the level of privilege that you've achieved thus far in your life. They're just trying to interrupt or limit your progress, maybe. Because usually, pardon me, usually the Nine of Pentacles is about... Being independent, being um, wealthy on some level it might not be like generational wealth. It's more just being very comfortable and able to have money to play with, um, really sort of set in your career on some level. And also have animals to care for too, like being able to be responsible, like have enough to be responsible for animals or could even be kids however you want to look at it. Overlooking the situation, we have the Page of Pentacles. So I'm, I'm guessing this could be, so there's like a young person that the universe is revealing to you, or, or this could be, I feel like the universe is telling you that you need to be more responsible with your money and maybe less naive about where you're investing your money, who you're giving your information to.
and subconsciously um, you might be I feel like this has nothing to do with what we just talked about I feel like subconsciously there's just some like an air of misery that you're that you're trying to sort out within your subconscious like you're not happy and you might even like miss having people around you this could be also you robbing yourself of opportunities for making money for yourself like you're still you still have a lot to learn and and it almost is like emotionally on some level, the way that you regulate yourself emotionally could be interfering with how you manifest financially. So I feel like this is very deep. Like this is really, this is a lot coming through. Now, this could also mean that people taking from you, despite people or somebody taking something from you or robbing you of an opportunity, you're still doing very well. And you might just be missing out on, you know, like it could be that you've lost an opportunity to rekindle a friendship or maybe you're just realizing that certain individuals in your life are really kind of sucking your energy. And if you're the culprit, you may have lost some friends over being an untrustworthy individual. So hopefully lesson learned. All right, so we have the two of wands. There's a lack of confidence that you've been experiencing in your past. However, you are going to, like this is one of the best cards. This is like wish fulfillment right here in your immediate future. So happy family and however family looks to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be this like nuclear heteronormative bliss. It is however you dream of your happy family situation now opportunity again like your attitude like subconsciously like you really need to adjust something internally because you're like you're afraid of taking risks it's almost like you want to play everything safe and in control the fool reversed and it's going to rob you of opportunities if you don't um if you don't learn how to incorporate a little bit more uh what's the word i'm looking for impulsive not impulsive but just like being willing to do things on a whim without having to plan it out like the fool reversed is somebody that's not willing to take the plunge or take any risks or do anything different where you know the um outcomes are not known because basically the fool is you know kind of um diving off a cliff into the whatever you know into the uh, the great unknown <laughs> and it could be that you allow other people to influence your de your decision making so you hold back more often because you maybe are seeking the advice of from people that tell you to do things like hold back or people that are limiting your progress because they want they you know you may have some like codependent things going on within your environment, the way that you appear within your environment, you're very anxious. You have a lot of anxiety and people, you know, are aware of that. And it could also be that, like you, your environment itself, you allow to trigger your anxiety. So there's just, I don't know if you're working this out with professional help, that might be a good idea. And you really just sort of hope to kind of boss up and be a leader, be a teacher, be a good guide. Um, to like young people in your life or maybe you know your own offspring if you have some what else 
the the king of the king of swords is definitely a mastermind. They're also very good at processing their emotions. So anxiety is something that they have learned to tolerate and overcome. But there is some um, some individuals or like some conflict, like a situation where you might find yourself bickering or, you know, dealing with somebody that's really nagging you. And it's creating this very like nag versus ornery, immature grown ass individual type of scenario like it's just a dynamic like that the five of cups is you know a situation where the bad outweighs the good unfortunately when you see three spilt cups all you have left basically is you know memories of two good cups so what is it what does it mean to you like we're like in this situation, are you really kind of feeling like the waters run dry or, you know, do you need to sort of rekindle your love and, you know, honeymoon it up? I mean, this could also be sibling rivalry, rivalry as well, or like, a, a you know, arguments between parental units or cousins, anything. But either way, there's some heartache that you have to sort out. You're either the cause of some heartache or you're dealing with some heartache or you've been betrayed on some level, which makes sense with this initial card. Like somebody has robbed you of even the way that you, the way that you saw the world, you know, when you think you're with somebody that is got your back, who's open and, um, whatever loyalty looks like to you, all those things. And then to have them take from you when they're the type of person that you never thought would do that, that's that's something that you have to grieve. You know, and, and when it comes to being wronged, especially with these two combined, when it comes to being wronged on this level, it, it's always somebody that, most often it's somebody that you know, because it's somebody that you know has the capability to hurt you on that level so i'm i'm deeply sorry that you are experiencing this situation i would say that you really just need to do some work on getting grounded i mean i'll tell anybody that any day and that you know dealing with your trauma related issues is what is going to make or break this situation or a situ any situation that you are dealing with in the future. Because if you don't deal with your own junk, if you don't, if you can't get over your issues and, and it's really shitty because sometimes we don't even realize what our issues are because we've either blocked them out or just don't have access to, you know, negative core beliefs without doing that work but not knowing what's happened to you like for whatever reason people experience that level of i mean i don't know for me i find like when dealing with people that um that don't remember their trauma but know that there's something wrong basically it's like um is it the word catch 22 or double-edged sword? Either way, like not knowing, there's a freedom in not knowing or not remembering things that have happened to you. So count your blessings and just figure out how to deal with whatever anxiety you have because you have the power to regulate your emotions on a top tier level, on a master level. PhD level, your life. <laughs> but this could be an individual that comes through for you as well and you know this person may uh, may be a teacher maybe like a mentor or just like um it doesn't matter if they're masculine or feminine usually the kings represent a masculine so it could be a man or a masculine individual but they're gonna help you to renew your level of confidence and you know come up with some new ideas new and innovative ways i you know like reverse like turn that turn that fool card upright first of all 
new and innovative ways to deal with your issues, your trauma, so that you can stop attracting people that are wronging you. And this is not to say that, you know, you're to blame for whatever shit has happened to you. I'm just saying that, you know, you have to heal yourself in order to move through this and move forward and transform, like with this adaptability card, transform your yourself and your narrative to level up. All right, so we'll close this off with some Oracle. What do we got here? The Six of Cups. Okay. So here's some nice friendly nostalgia. I am... Here, if you want to look at this. Screenshot that. I am the emotional pleasure that springs from relationships based on mutual compassion. Pardon me. Look at this. Mutual compassion and love. I have let go of past emotional injuries... I choose to build on positive memories. I have recovered my capacity for childlike joy and delight. I am able to build relationships on foundations of respect, concern, and support. I take pleasure in my emotional interaction with others. All right. So let's see what the spiritual F deck has to say. <laughs> Isn't this fitting? Like I said. All right, so. Oh, my, I thought that said forget. <laughs> okay, so I literally thought this said forget the F out of someone today. <laughs> okay, so take this like a grain of salt. I don't know if you, like the person that you are, are trying to forgive or, you know, if we're going to talk about forgiveness, is it you that you need to forgive yourself for being so hard on yourself? Yes, most likely. Do you need to forgive the person who has wronged you? That's helpful, but it is also okay to be mad and to have valid emotions, right? So always remember that like forgiveness is something that we do for ourselves, not because we want to give the other person like, you know, a clean slate. All right, so here we go. You're probably thinking it's not that easy. Sorry, but yes, the F it is. Take all the energy you've put into being mad and making a case for how wrong so-and-so is and let that shit go. That's not a bad idea. Start small so you can get the hang of it. The driver who just cut you off, cut you off yell, I forgive you, and wave. Secret bonus perk. Forgiving someone usually pisses them off worse than anything else. Yeah. But don't, like, if, yeah, but that's not really authentically forgiving them if you're doing it to piss them off, right? But either way, something to think about is forgiveness and no judgment if you don't feel like it right now. All right, Libra, take it easy and we'll catch you next time.